Hey guys, welcome to Tech Halt. So today we'll be learning how to wrap a text inside a shape. We have done another tutorial on this, uh, on the same topic. If you want, you can check the link in the card above. So let's get started. Take a new document, and we are going to create different shapes. Let's make a rectangle, a rounded rectangle. Next, we'll take ellipse. Polygon. A star. So we have a few shapes over here. The fill color and the stroke for these shapes doesn't matter. Now we'll type text. Take a bold font. Now we want text behind this object. So right click, arrange, send to back, shift, control and left bracket. And next is select both the objects, your text and the object above. Go to object, envelope this dot, make with top object, alt, control, c. So next time I am going to use the shortcuts for both of them. That is shift, control and left bracket and next is alt, control, c. Control, shift, left bracket, select both the objects, alt, control, c. Control, shift, left bracket, select both the objects, alt, control, c. So these are a few shapes. Next we'll try some custom shapes. So first of all, we'll take ellipse. We'll draw a shape over here. Press P for pen tool. Hold down Alt key and click. And click. So you have this shape. Press A. Select both the nodes, hold down shift and left arrow. Press thrice. Again, we'll select selection tool, alt, click, drag. Again, alt, click, drag to make a copy. So we have three copies of the same shape. So this is going to be the tail basically. So we'll place it wherever we find. It looks good. And then we'll place this shape also accordingly. Now we have this shape and this shape. Select both the shapes, go to window, pathfinder and we are going to minus front. So we have this tail and we have this shape. Select both the shapes and click on unite. So this becomes one shape. Next, we'll take a rectangle and we'll draw this rectangle over here. 
will copy this shape the fish shape and control F control C control F for paste in front control C control F so the shape is copied and pasted over here now we'll select both the shapes this fish and the rectangle shape and we'll select uh, we'll click on intersect so we have this shape if you want you can change the color to C so this is the shape and this is another shape now we'll write down the text again control shift left bracket select both the shapes control alt c so we have something like this select and group so this becomes one shape So next is, we'll take polygon tool, click, click on OK, hold down shift key, rotate twice so that it rotates to 90 degrees. Once if we hold down shift key and rotate, it rotates to 45 degree angle. Now we'll press alt, click and drag, simply change the color though the color doesn't matter but just to see the difference between the shapes and reduce the opacity so that we can see both the shapes and hold down control key select your shape using selection tool hold down control key to snap this exactly over here so both the points should snap make sure that both the points snap properly at this and now select both the shapes again open pathfinder and click on divide right click ungroup delete this shape here we have additional shapes delete we have one more shape over here we we'll simply change the color so that we can see the difference between the shapes now we'll write down some text over here we'll make a copy by alt click and drag put the text here Control shift left bracket shift click to select the shape and the text Control alt c next is select the object shift click and rotate to 45 degrees now take your text control shift left bracket shift click to select both the objects alt control c again shift and rotate back to where it was now double click on the scale scale tool and choose non-uniform scaling and scale it accordingly once you are satisfied with the result you can stop over there so place it accordingly now if you want you can change the color double click and you can change the color let's put it here you can group this also right click select both of them and right click and group ctrl g okay now we'll do another shape also you can do another variant of the fish press p alt click alt click and then you can simply take a rectangle take the direct selection shift 
arrow keys and then go to pathfinder and unite so you have this shape control shift left bracket control alt c so you have something like this and if you want to edit later on you can always select your anchor points using your direct selection tool shift and you can move the anchor points and change the shape to whatever and select both the anchor points and you can simply change the shape later on also also you can play with the handles like this So this is another variant of the same shape. So next is we'll take direct selection tool. And write down a text over here. Color it with some other color. Control Shift left bracket. Select both the objects. Alt Control C. Now I'll show you one more. We'll take Pen tool. I'll draw first half of the heart shape. We'll take rulers. Press Control R. So that we can see that it is properly aligned. So we need to align our anchor points over here. If you do not know how to use pen tool, you can check the link in the card above. I have already done a tutorial on using pen tool so that you can draw anything, any custom drawing. So this is the first half. Now control C, control F. Make sure that complete shape is selected control C control F and transform reflect reflect along vertical axis click on ok and using shift and arrow keys simply move the object now we don't want this guide anymore you can delete it or you can hide the guides go to guide hide guides or control semicolon select both the objects pathfinder unite so we have this heart shape. Now we can type any text over here. So we have different text over here. Once you type a text, you can click on the selection tool to deselect the text and then you can type another text or you can select another tool. So now we are going to divide this. Uh, first let me change the color to some other color so that it is visible. Though the color doesn't matter, later on it is not going to be visible. So we need to divide this shape into pieces. So we are going to use eraser tool. And if you want to cut this into a straight line, you can hold down shift, click and drag. So that it cuts this shape into a straight line. But I don't want to cut into a straight line. So I'm going to undo it and if you want to increase or decrease the size of the eraser hold down brackets left bracket and right bracket square brackets so now I'm going to cut this into pieces make sure that the shape should be properly cut into two separate pieces so we have these different pieces Now let's take the first text, Control Shift bracket and Control Alt C, Control Shift left bracket Control Control Alt C,
so we have something like this now we can change the color double click select your text remove the fill go to appearance and add a new fill go to gradient add a gradient double click and you can select any color you want if you want to swap reverse the gradient you can reverse the gradient like this double click go to appearance panel now go to gradient double click so like this you can add as many gradient color stops as you want this is just an example so hope you must have liked the shapes and the video if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching